How are we doing today, folks? I have another app for you to review for my iPhone 4, or anybody else's iPhone 4, or iPhone for that matter. Uh, and this time it's going to be over a trip uh, reporting app, basically uh, um, uh, 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 app called Road Trip. And it tracks your fuel economy as well as, well, it'll actually track how much you spend on gas and, uh, and basically an all-around fuel, vehicle, costs, travel logger um, change your oil tell how much it costs and everything like that so I'll basically get right into the app so enough of me talking like this okay so here we have the iPhone 4 unlocker and here's the road trip app comes up I have two vehicles saved currently um, and actually typically it comes into the vehicle screen from here you basically get a summary of your vehicles I have the full edition so I can do multiple vehicles and it'll tell you their miles per gallon um, that's actually only under my Grand Caravan I just put in there and it only has one fill up and my wife does a paper out so a lot of slow movement. But my truck I have since the day I got it, uh, it's a three quarter ton diesel truck and you can see it's 12.7 miles per gallon on average. In the, uh, within the vehicle you can actually see the full settings here. You'll see statistics is what I'm currently on so you'll see that typically I'm actually probably in the 15, 16 range for miles per gallon. Um, but we, we pull a 16,000 pound trailer, or actually whatever, 13,000 pound trailer, so you can see the, the low end is what really drags it down. So, with that said, um, you can see how everything graphs out for, well, as it is. Uh, the yellow line, if you can see how it's been kind of slowly increasing out, and, and then all of a sudden just starts going up, that's the cost of fuel, and uh, you report every single time on that as well, so you can kind of keep get an idea of how it uh how fuel cost changes as well as your miles per gallon uh you can see all or i can just see the last six months and then from the last six months you can see it obviously is a little tighter graph um but if i do all again you can see how it's done since i actually bought the vehicle and from this you can actually you can obviously see when i pull a trailer or you know in the general trend line you can see if your vehicle is all of a sudden if you didn't change your driving habits all of a sudden it started tanking that there's something wrong with your vehicle or your tires are deflated or something so with that obviously it it kind of gives you an average on uh, an average my last fill up I was almost 14 miles to the gallon um, and uh, now it should be going up since we're getting warmer again so with that also down here you can bring, see your total cost of expenses so I have what seven thousand three hundred eighteen dollars sixty four cents total fuel cost of my vehicle to date um, and uh, I've filled up with almost 2,500 gallons of fuel in, in total. Um, you can also see from those averages, uh, the average I'm getting about 213.5 miles per fill. Well, that's what I'm typically doing now. I don't run it down to empty anyway. So, Okay, so with that said, that's what that is. When you actually go to hit the fuel, you hit the fuel. This is all the fill-ups I've done ever. And each fill-up, um, well, here's the top, the latest one I did. You can see the miles per gallon from during that fill up. If you do a partial fill, like I have a partial fill right here, when you hit a partial fill, it doesn't put the miles per gallon. And then when you add the, put the next fill up in, it just basically puts those as the same miles per gallon. It averages the two out, basically adding the two gallons together and stuff like that. Um, and uh, so that's how it deals with that. So to add a new one, you just hit the plus button. The date automatically goes to today's date and obviously if you're backlogging you can change that. You just enter in your odometer how many gallons you got uh, and then the price. The total is automatically calculated and then if you want to do more there's more info down here you can click that and that way you can actually tell more info. So I went to Quickstar here uh, you can actually map it out if you want to and then obviously based on that you can just fill those categories in and then you can just basically put that as yeah I want those as a default. So um and uh so fill tank if you just click that it'll also go to not filled so if you didn't fill the tank all the way up it'll next time you fill it that's when it'll basically do all the averaging um and then other options are yes they're gallons us you know obviously if depending on where you are your currency is going to change so canadian or mexican as well um and obviously fill tank uh, distance i always go by the odometer because i don't really care about the trip so um so that's that. I'm going to cancel all that. Uh, expenses, I haven't actually done this yet. I have well logged. I just haven't added them in here. Uh, but basically, you can just add expenses 
what is it? Is it oil change? What odometer reading you did it at? How much did the oil change cost? And uh, and then of course the same stuff as before. More info. It's obviously a service, or you could uh, you know you can change those to whatever they are. Oh, I guess there's actually a couple other things. So yeah. So um, with that, that's what that is. Uh, road trips, you can actually plot out trips, so you can uh, you can just basically log trips that you took, starting and ending mileage, and it'll come in here, and you can just, uh, if you click the add there, you just uh, basically, what did what you start at, what did you end at, date started and ended, and it'll just put it in there, just for your, more for your information than anything else. And then preferences are just standard stuff, what do you want to call this vehicle? what's you want it in miles gallons us and then you can also enter in your license plate vin and everything so you have all that with you at all times you don't have to have the vehicle so if let's say your vehicle was stolen you got it with you and your phone is ready to go and then you can also back back up and export it you know export it to just send it to yourself in an email so which is awesome actually it works real good the free edition i started out with the free edition of the app lets you do one vehicle it's a little more limited um i don't think they do expenses in the free run um, and that's why I don't actually have this in because I actually added this vehicle in the free one and uh, I wanted to I was I really liked it So I bought the full version of the of the app to do multiple vehicles and hopefully I'll have more information to uh, to add to my other vehicle, which is my van um, When we get to that point, but That is the road trip app and uh, I hope you enjoyed that my review so like I said the road trip app it's a uh, it's from the different apps I've, I've kind of tried out. I tried all the free ones out for the most part because uh, I didn't want to purchase it unless I knew I was going to use it. $0.99, cents, $1.99 to pay for an app, whatever it is. I think the road trip, the full version is four ninety nine. so I wanted to make sure I liked it before I actually purchased it. Um, so with that said, if you like what you saw, I think it's a very good app. Um, you know, there's obviously, there, there's always things that you wish were different, but at the same time, it works better than the app that I used prior on my poem. So um, now two different architectures are, are and uh, two different people creating them. So, but that said, I would have to give this app, you know, in actuality, four out of five stars. I really do like this app, and uh, I know I, I don't. I haven't really done a bad review yet. I don't think, but uh, I have a couple coming up. So, but that said, uh, check it out on the App Store. And uh, by a shirt, be, be sure to try out the free edition. Make sure it's something that you see. You know, I showed you everything for the most part on the app, but check it out on the App Store, the free edition. Try it out. See if you like it. If you do, by all means, purchase it because I really like it. I'm glad that I purchased it, and I plan on using it for all of my vehicles and probably even other things. So uh, with that said, this is the Gooch saying thanks for watching. Make sure to uh, subscribe or comment below. I appreciate all comments, and uh, I thankful that I have subscribers. So thanks again for watching and take it easy.